We're releasing some of our common seal pups who came to us in the summer. Um, we've been getting them well, nice and fat, and today's the day that they go back to sea for the first time. Yay! <laughs> I think we've had a few more common seals than we normally have, but it does fluctuate from year to year. Sometimes you won't get quite as many. It really depends a lot on the weather and how they're reported to us, but we have had quite a lot this. I certainly feel it anyway. We're actually releasing seals here down at the river and um, we're popping them into the river on a receding tide and then what we'll do is we'll go out into the wash and they'll be on the sandbank when it's exposed and with the other seals, which is great. That's what we wanted to do. Um, we, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, there goes another one. So he's just out of his stretcher and um, they, they just slip into the river. We've done the tracking, so we know that they all do really well. And if we weren't absolutely confident that they would have the best chance of survival, we wouldn't release them until we felt like that. So because they're going back to the sea, we can't keep an eye on them unless people report sightings to us. So um, yeah, we're absolutely confident that they're gonna do really well and have loads of pups, yay. One of the good things about them going is we're going to be having to get out less fish because that's really labour intensive getting out all the fish and it's making space for any new seals that come in. We've always got them coming in. We release them here because uh, it's a really good way of getting them into the wash safely so the, the tide is receding and then the sandbags will be exposed in the wash so um, it's just a really nice way of getting them safely out to the sandbanks and up with the other seals. And how do you find they are when they first go in? It varies enormously. Um, some are really good and they just zip off and that's it. Still even have a second glance at us. Others are a little bit confused because, I mean, they're very young animals. Um, and they, they have a look back and they're a bit concerned. But this is their second chance at survival and you just hope that they make it. There they go. <clears throat> I mean, how does that feel for you when you've released one of them? It's brilliant. It is the best bit of the job. Um, it definitely is. It's so good when you see them, just, you know, so fit and healthy, swooshing off into the water. It's great. It's really, really good. They just look so well. They look very, very still. So. And do you keep an eye on them when they've, when they've gone? How do you do it? They've all got a little orange flipper tag in their hind flipper and um, that identifies them as who they are. And if anybody does see an orange flipper tag, please report it to us because we'd like to know how they get on. We don't want to just think, yeah, they've gone and that's that. And obviously we'd love to do some more satellite tracking and see how they do survive. But we know from the one um, tracking project that we did that they, they survived really well and, and as well as their wild counterparts. So we're quite happy with that. But we'd quite like to do grey seals on the seals that have got um, one eye damaged and see if they survive as well as the wild ones.